Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of January the 25th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have Major Arcana Star in the upright position, followed then by the Knight of Swords upright. Next, we have the Knight of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the Seven of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the King of Swords in the upright. Okay, Cancer. For your overall energy, you have the star, a beautiful Aquarius energy. Uh, in the upright position, the star is associated with the sign of Aquarius. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. And maybe there's signs of hope going on there. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, the star is beautiful energy, especially to have as your overall. Because you could be really, really optimistic this week, Cancer. This would be beautiful, beautiful energy. I hope it, it resonates for all of you because it's so nice to be in this type of energy where we feel hopeful. This is the kind of faith that comes from deep within um, and it's not necessarily reflective in your environment but it's just something it's just where we know we just know you sense it. cancer you're a water sign you sense things so perhaps what you're sensing is something really optimistic you could just have a really good optimistic outlook this week uh, remember too the star is also a major arcana's version of the wish card so you know make a wish it's also very healing energy that's why it's so beautiful it's really really nice something is making you feel really hopeful and i can tell by the rest of the reading i can see why it looks like you got a couple of offers here <laughs> right off the hop we do have the knight of swords in the upright position this is a court card so it could be representing a person if it, it's representing a person this is air energy that of gemini libra aquarius sun moon or rising male or female we do see aquarius energy here with the star so some of you could be dealing with an aquarius now remember it could be for any reason. This could be a family member, a friend. It could be uh, your partner. It could be, you know, your business partner, your um, a love interest, what have you. But the Knight of Swords rushes in. This this could be representative of, of news that comes in super fast. It could be an offer because Knights do govern offers as well. So this could be an offer. If it's an offer, this is a... Um, written or verbal offer uh this could be someone just rushing in can't wait to tell you the news it's interesting because aries got this uh same card in the in the beginning of the reading so in the very same position so this would be cool if this say for example you had an aries business partner or you know marriage partner or what have you this could be exciting news coming towards you both of you and maybe there's an offer it's an offer if you're you have your house up for sale for example your business or something like that could be a written offer coming that way for others of you this could be uh, a romantic offer especially if you're single and looking this could be somebody you know rushing in cannot wait to make an offer this could be somebody new uh wants to get to know you better the knight of swords is is uh, somebody who's very talkative <laughs> someone who can be sometimes verbally aggressive in their approach so whatever the situation is starts off very exciting at the beginning of the week and now we have the second knight here, which is the knight of cups in the upright position. Now, this is water energy, like Cancer, like yourself, or Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Some of you have two offers coming in uh, at the same time. And because this is your own energy, though, um, Cancer, maybe this is an offer that comes in from someone else and this is you you know, wanting to offer back emotion and, and stuff like that. So this could be an exchange between yourself and a um, an air sign or anybody who's just sort of representing the Knight of Swords. But the Knight of Cups is the known as the Knight in Shining Armor. This is like the romantic dreamer. So this could either be you, like I said, wanting to maybe propose or maybe there's someone who wants to propose to you, Cancer. Very exciting. I can see why you're very hopeful <laughs> and very optimistic. Moving towards the weekend, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse position. Seven of Swords upright can point to 
avoidance. It can point to somebody trying to get away with something. Uh, the Seven of Swords is known as the sneak thief who tries to dip out. When the card is reversed, however, this is no longer avoiding. So there's something that you feel that you no longer either have to avoid or you no longer wish to avoid. So that could be the case for some of you, whether it be a person, a situation, or what have you, you're dealing with something head on because you're optimistic. You're, you're feeling really good this week, it looks like. So you're ready to deal with anything that comes your way. If this was somebody trying to be kind of sneaky, this is the, the thief gets caught. So you don't need to worry about anything this week, uh, Cass. It looks really good. And the last card you have here now is the King of Swords in the upright position. Again, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, male, female. The King of Swords can be representative of a person, yes. And for some of you, maybe there's a maturity level that happens really fast where they go from a knight to a king. Um, or it could be that you're dealing with two different people. Maybe there's a younger person and an older person. They're both air signs. But the King of Swords in the upright position, this is someone who wants to deal with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Sometimes he can represent a legal representative, such as a lawyer. He can be a police officer, a military person, or... Uh, an arbitrator, a judge, anything dealing with the, the courts or something legal or official. So it could be for some of you this, and he's in the upright position. So this could be someone speaking on your behalf or speaking up for you or you yourself. It's always the energies are interchangeable. So it could be you yourself maybe wanting to set the record straight clear up something or speak on behalf of someone else. For some of you, it's the same person, like I said, from the beginning of the week, that's why you're hopeful, or it's two different people. You know, again, it's very hard with a, a general read. So <clears throat> just take what fits. If it's your reading, you'll know it. You'll, you'll, you'll just know it <laughs> because it'll resonate for you. If it doesn't, then you know to check your uh, moon sign or your rising sign as well as your Venus sign because that can give you more information. But in the meantime, it looks like you're very hopeful about something and there could be two separate offers coming towards you or uh, sometimes two nights in a, in, a, in a read can indicate they're fighting. Maybe they're fighting over you. Maybe there's two different people who are trying to you know, come making, make you an offer. Maybe one's more analytical and one's more emotional. Uh, this could also be representative of, of an offer on the, um, it's not always romantic, so it could be an offer on the creative field. Maybe for those of you who are in the creative field, this could be an offer. Maybe something comes towards you if you happen to be like an artist or a musician or something, someone in the, um, in the, uh, artistic field, maybe there, there is an offer coming towards you and maybe there's a, you know, um, a written contract as well. So only take what resonates, what doesn't. I wouldn't worry about it. But that is your reading, Cancer. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.